with us. Mirafe Resources released its full year numbers this morning. My colleague Nozi Pombanjwa sat down with the company CEO, Zanele Matakla, and started by asking her with regard to what the outcomes of the financial results revealed. The exports that have reduced into China are really the chrome ore exports. And uh, chrome ore is not a big part of our numbers in that it makes up only 9% of our total revenue. But it's a positive thing from a South African point of view to have less uh, exports going to China because it means we can produce more in South Africa, mm. more ferrochrome that is. Is there beneficiation happening? Because my understanding is that we're still uh, exporting raw to China. Does this open up an opportunity to revisit the beneficiation conversation? Um, it does, although uh, we do beneficiate from chrome ore to ferrochrome. So mm -hmm. there's already some beneficiation that happens. And then the next level would be to beneficiate into stainless steel. But given electricity constraints, and I mean that's more uh, a South African issue rather than a company issue, uh, it's not likely that we'll be going into that space. Mm. A South African issue, no doubt, and with the tariffs uh, coming in, I think the date is 1st of April, we're expecting uh, the cost of power in South Africa to also increase. What does this mean for your cost of production and the overall output that you're able to deliver? Uh, we have the advantage of being very energy efficient. Mm. Therefore, whatever increase that happens will be more painful for our competitors than it is for us. Uh, we currently, uh, electricity makes up about 23% of our total cost of production, and, and therefore there will be an increase, but it will be not as painful, mm -hmm. I would say. That's, that's a surprising one, given that mo many companies aren't in the fortunate position to, to, to give the answer that you've given now. But let's also talk about the strategic change in direction that has been uh, spoken about prior to, even to these numbers and the two focal areas there being uh, the desire to reduce debt and to pay dividends. How have you performed on those two metrics? Uh, as you'd have seen with the results, we've actually declared a dividend of 20 million rand. Um, which is in addition to the interim dividend that we had declared of 28. So, so for the year, we've declared 48 million rand, and that, I think, shows our intention of committing to being a stable dividend uh, payer. Mm. And on, on the debt side, uh, we will start making some reduction, uh, but our debt is over a five-year period, so mm. you're not going to see that reduction in a year. Mm. Can you give us uh, your, your debt reduction targets that we could track? Uh, currently, we have a, a debt facility of 800 million rand, and 500 million of that is payable over five years. Mm. So if you just apply that, then you'd say we'd probably remain with 300 uh, to 400 in, in four to five years. But that doesn't mean we can't refinance it when we get to that point, depending on what our requirements are. Let's go back to the broader relationship, and in particular the joint venture uh, with Glencore. Is it working? Uh, what are the key tensions maybe that as a minority uh, partner in this relationship that you've had to grapple with in this last financial year? And where do you see this relationship going from here on? Uh, the relationship is working. Uh, remember that the history is that uh, Mirafi uh, contributed assets that they had into the venture. So both parties contributed into the venture. Uh, and if you just look at the history and look at our performance when we were a standalone operation and now that we're participating in the venture, uh, our results have been a lot better. We've actually made profits for all the years that we've had the venture except for one year, 2009, mm -hmm. which uh, was a bad year for most companies. Um, I think we are in a very good space because what it gives us uh, being in this partnership with Lenko is the diversification in terms of geographically in that we have mm. uh, operations in the west and the east, uh, we have 22 uh, furnaces, so it gives us that flexibility that when one thing is not operating, the other is operating, so I think it's a, it's a very good mm. partnership to be in. The critics have always been uh, ready to point out that this in essence means you don't have your own destiny in your own hands. How have you responded to some of those comments? Um, I mean, we've had those comments, but the way we see it is that it is better to have a smaller percentage 
of a large operation than have 100% of a small operation for the reasons that I gave you. That, for instance, when we've had the strikes in the West, our eastern operations were operating. Whereas if we had had the one operation, uh, we probably would have been in a much worse position. Mm -hmm. So the venture gives us a lot of flexibility, it gives us diversity, plus uh, Glenco does all the marketing, and I mean, they have quite a reach, mm -hmm. and that's an advantage for the venture.